everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a uh, good start to the week. I've got a new journal to share with you guys. I'm really excited to, um, to have completed this. This is a design project for Calico Collage, and the kit used in this is a Fairy Garden. Beautiful kit. Um, it just went perfectly. Um, as you know, I've been doing <clears throat> some of the books from um, the Nick the Booksmith course, and this went perfectly with this um, style of uh, journal. So I, I'm really delighted with how it's come out. I'll uh, just give you a, a close up. So on the cover, I've just did some layering with um, one of the images from the kit. And then I did cheesecloth, another image, then I cut out and put that on a vintage lace. And then I've come back through with some of this other um, trim that I've got. And then on the side, I've done a little tassel um, and it's got a little silver heart there. So that, I hope you can see that. Uh, and then this is the back of the journal. Um, it's very um, vintage looking, and yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's a six by eight and a half inch. It's got five signatures. It's got over a hundred pages for writing, and we'll just get started flipping through. It's got lots of uh, trims and laces on the edge. So, um, okay, so here's the front cover. This is um, from the kit. It's uh, a little poem, The Child and the Fairies. So I've stitched that in. And then I've come back, and this is one of the pockets, and I've fussy cut around it, and then did some stitching. And then this is a um, handmade tag with obviously some stamping, and then I've fussy cut that image from the kit. And this is one of the tags. Just beautiful colors in this. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, so this is just um, some other printable um, paper I got um, off of the internet. So this is this is not in the kit, but I thought it suited it really nicely, and I wanted it to have a theme throughout. So um, these are from the kit. I printed those. Just did a little tuck spot here. It's a little hand crocheted um, flower. Some stitching. I've done all of the pages. I have taken a um, script stamp and I've just randomly um, put that. Everything has been tea dyed. So then on top of that, it's got the stamp, the um, stamping, and then they've all got this little um, corner stamp because I wanted um, this to be a writing journal, but I think it's nice to have you know, some, some more interest to the page. So I really am pleased with how that's come out. Um, here, this is um, printed off, I printed this off of the internet, I just folded it up so you could do some extra writing there. That's a little poem about fairies, and this has been decoupaged um, and then I fussy cut this from the kit, did some stitching on there, added this little envelope, and then this is a little journal card that I've done some stitching around on that. And then up on that. Why did I know the minute I started recording uh, my delivery would come? <laughs> That's the way it goes, though. Okay, so uh, here I've just done a little place so that you could stick the envelope um, thing in. Um, here I've done, this is stitched in. It's a little banner um, tuck spot there, so you can add some things. Here, <coughs> beautiful image from that kit. And I've just done a little flip out here with a pocket. Um, this was from the kit. It's the definition of fairy, and that's been decoupaged on there. Got some eyelash trim with some seam binding. So, 
additional writing space. There's a lot of space to write uh, in this. Did a flip up here. So you can have a little secret place to write. And on this page, I just <coughs> did a little flip out there. I've got a couple little hand stamped tags. And these little um, butterflies are in the kit, so I fussy cut those. And some more of that vintage trim. I love that. I, I think I've used up all of that now, so I'm getting quite desperate to, to get out and source some more uh, trims and such. But I don't think I've got anything coming up until December. Um, here I've got a pocket behind and here. And I'll just show you. I did some layering. That's a book page pocket. I've added some trim. I've put about three layers of uh, the papers from the kit there. And then I've done a another of this um, stitching around one of the images. This is a little glassine. Um, not glassine, I'm sorry, vellum. I printed out on some vellum and made um, a little envelope that's tucked in there. <clears throat> so that's the end of signature one. This is, um, I've made these, these just flip out, so you've got some more writing space there, and that's secret. <clears throat> it says, let your day be filled with magic. I love that. Beautiful paper. So I put a flip up there so you can have some more hidden things. And here we got another little image, little mini file folder tucked away, and then this is from um, the kit. So here's some lined paper tucked in that little pocket back there. This is my um, first fairy journal, and I've really enjoyed it. I just think um, it's just. They're just beautiful. You like to think that there's fairies in your garden. <clears throat> of course, I would need a garden to have them, wouldn't I? <laughs> so I'm working on that next year. <laughs> um, here, this is a glass... Uh, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying glassing. This is a um, vellum pocket. I've done some trim. This is beautiful. It's a really... Um, like a really soft sage uh, lace. I've just purchased that recently. And then this is just some layering, some more stitching and on that tag. This page, I've got another little double pocket. This is from the kit. Uh, did some stamping on that little pocket there, added some trim and Here, so this is um, a fussy cut pocket. I've added some of the trim from the, like it's on the front there. I love that. And here's, excuse me, little mint. Sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze. Um, here's a little mini uh, file folder. And this, these little tickets are in the kit. I love those. Just gorgeous. That's tucked up in there. I don't know. I hope I'm not heading for a cold. I don't believe I am. I think it's just... My um, craft room, I've got quite a lot of the old books, and boy, when I move them around, it really does stir up um, the dust and things in the air. So um, here I've just kind of altered this little um, envelope. <clears throat> so you've got room, you could put something in there, and then I've done a little pocket here, added some trim. That's some trim I just recently purchased. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got the little tiny hearts on it. And that I've put in the um, tassel on this as well. And then these are some more of the little tickets um, that are in the kit. I just love those. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, I, every time I go and, and clean the room, I try to keep it aired out really well, but... Um, when I shift stuff around in here, um, it really does. I don't know if it's the old books, but boy, it does aggravate my uh, sinuses. <laughs> okay, here's another little flip out. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm sorry, it's, I've been working on this journal for a while, so 
bear with me. I'm trying to remember. Now this one's complete. Yeah, this one's just got the one pocket here. Stitching, more layering, another of the little tags from the kit. Love that. I just love these soft uh, muted colors. They are gorgeous. Let your day be filled with magic. Beautiful. Here I've done um, a belly band and I've just, these are um, in the kit so I've layered up three of those and, and so it's nice and sturdy. And then here I've just added like a floating pocket that I made out of um, various scrapbook papers and I've just got some little um, various cutouts that I've stuck in there for extra journaling. Um, another little tag and then another printout from on the um, I had in my stash. So just add a, another little flower. Of course this isn't, oh, you know we should know by now. It's just not going to happen on camera, is it? I've had this in and out so many times. No trouble. Get it on camera and you have a dickens of a time. Anyways, there's a little, uh, I think this slow flower came from Michael's if I'm, don't, if I, I don't know. I can't keep up with it now. Honestly, if it happened before this morning, you could just forget it. I, I'm not going to know. <laughs> Lots of writing space. Um, here is a um, tag I created from some of the Edith Holden um, book pages. I thought those went nicely with it, um, with it being a garden themed. And this one says, Don't Stop Believing. Little pocket. Love that. Now, this page, this is more of the Edith Holden. I've just put that in and uh, stitched over. I don't know if you could see very well. I love how those have come out. This little pocket here is a uh, snippet pocket, so it's fabric. Then I, I took, um, I had a doily that was coming apart so I stitched that then I came back in with images from the uh, kit did some stitching and then another of those beautiful sequined flowers some more uh, lace there and this is one of the little envelopes I left that open so you could either you know seal it yourself or do some some more journaling beautiful And here I've done a little flip up with uh, one of the Tim Holtz, uh, oh, I'm going to learn these things, photo, I think it's the photo die, die, and then here's, that's from the kit, and these, I've done some hand stamping on those, I do love this little die, it's really sweet, I've added a little uh, crocheted flower there, and then this flips up so that you, sorry, let me get that in there. That flips up so you've got some more writing space and a secret space as well. Um, here I've done, um, this was Paula Forder, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She did um, the altered paper clip, so I kind of followed along and then just made it my own. So. That's obviously one of the little tags from uh, from the kit, and then I've just attached it to that piece of trim there with the um, little bulb pin. And then here I did some of that. Uh, this is another stitch off on my sewing machine. I'm really trying to use a bit more. And so that just flips over, and then here I've created a little pocket there. And then this is um, some more of the papers from the, from the kit. Love that. I love how that's come out. That's so sweet, isn't it? Sorry, I've got the sniffles, guys. And this paint, I've got another little uh, applique flower. And this is a journaling card. This is a little um, tag I've done. And then another of the little craft tags tucked in there. I th I've lost count. I think there's um, in excess of 40 tags and journaling spots in this. This one, um, I've just taken and did kind of like a little tr 
tri-fold uh, notebook. So you've got that flips out. And then, so there's, there's a lot of little writing space there. That folds back in. In one of the fussy cut um, pockets that's been stitched around. Another of the, um, I did these handmade um, envelopes. I've tucked that back there. Uh, this is a stamped postcard. So you can do some more writing. And then this is from the kit, one of the little journal tags. Or cards, sorry. <laughs> uh, here I've done a big pocket that I've stitched all the way around. And this is some more of the um, writing paper. Love that. Look at that. Beautiful. Really, really sweet. So I've just tucked that in that pocket there. And then this little envelope flips over and I created a little journal card here. That, and then this is one of the um, printouts from online. Believe in fairies who make dreams come true. Love that. That's really, really sweet. This one I've done a, a kind of an unusual flip up there. I love that image. And then here I came back and did some more stitching on that pocket. Another little mini file folder. Or Rolodex card. Sorry, I don't know. I love how this um, tea dye has come out this time, and I don't know, every batch is different, isn't it? But I love that. I don't know, I couldn't duplicate it if I wanted to. Um, this is a piece of the um, printout that I had left over, so I just came back in with some stickles, and so it's got a bit of a glitter thing going on there. I love that. And you can journal on the back of that one. Another little envelopes pocket. And that tucks in there. I've got some of the pom-pom trim there. So you can see. And here I've done a um, pocket on the side. A little journal card from the kit. That fits down in there. And then I've got a little belly band here. And that's one of the tags. And then this is one of the phrases, Don't Stop Believing. I've layered that on, put some trim there. Let's see. And then this is one of the Anna Griffith uh, pockets. And I just took one of the uh, pages and printed it on cardstock and cut that out. Just added an alterations tag. This is one of the tags from the kit. Beautiful. And then I just created this one with some little die cuts and stitching. And this one I've done one of the little, um, oh, I don't know, these things always get uh, twisted around, not the way they're supposed to be, but hey ho. That's a little, um, I think that was paper tray ink. Those are um, a little tag. Um, die cuts and um, stamp set I've got. So I've, I've stamped Wish on there and then obviously this is one of the journal um, cards and so I've stitched that on. Can journal on that and I love that tag. Fairy song. And this is the back. I've done some stitching on here, and then I um, did a really elaborate, because um, this just, to me, screams fairy garden um, tag. So I put that in because it's quite bulky. I've tucked it into the back. So you, you could take this out if you didn't want to keep it in here, because it, it is quite bulky, as you can see. But that's been layered and layered and layered. <laughs> But I thought it really, really went well with this. Um, so there you have it. It's a big, big journal. When it's um, open, you know, it's it's a good five inches there. And then, like, I don't know if I pointed out, it's got the little handle hardware 
And yeah, I'm I'm really delighted with how it's come out. But uh, I I really enjoyed the kit. I'm gonna put uh, Norella's link below for the fairy kit. So if you're interested in purchasing that, um, you can just follow that link to her shop. So I hope everybody's well and. Um, safe and my prayers are going out to gosh so many things going on at the moment um the wildfires in california the shootings in um you know my hometown tallahassee I, and uh, the shooting in california are uh, really praying for all of the families affected and you know so many people so many people in the world um going through really, really difficult times right now. And yeah, keep them in your prayers and I will see you guys all soon. Take care. Bye.